Welcome to Glad Rap Channel. This is Industry Rumble 6. This is a Bruce Glossier Boxing Promotions with association with Mayhem Boxing. We're here at ABA Stadium on 16th of November 2018. I am Benjamin Watt. Alongside me, I've got Isaac Savage. How's it going? Welcome aboard, mate. Great to have you here tonight at Glad Rap Channel in the scorching ABA sold out arena we've had an action-packed night of fights and we're now ready for bout number 13 logan olberg out of the blue corner against <laughs> mark proctor in the red this was not the undertaker and it's not Shawn michaels either this is logan olberg who's obviously a wrestling fan like myself everyone in the crowd is excited for this uh, of the theme song <laughs> I have to say, what a way to make an entrance from Logan. I wonder if he's actually related to Carlos Alberg. But now here comes Mark. Mark seems quite excited, the fans are quite excited for Mark. Let's see what his nickname is on the back of his shirt. Jim Beam. He must like his bourbon. All right, Logan Olberg out of Glossier Boxing against Mark Proctor. It's just Jim called Jim Beam. <laughs> The kid, Logan the kid. Wow, look at the crowd go wild. He's certainly got the crowd support here tonight, Benji. And now we're going wild for Mark as well. He's even got his own cheerleading squad there with the red pom poms. And the, the, far the wa left. And the walking sick. <laughs> yep, someone's not walking right after that. Their crutch was stolen. <laughs> and support for Mark Proctor. This crowd's going to go wild for this fight. Speaking of uh, not walking properly, are we going to see someone go legless in this first round, Benji? Well, I hope not. Don't want someone to break their leg. And box well, him. I mean, knock down. And look oh! at Albert come forward. He's showing, I guess, I guess he's got a little shades of Carlos Albert because he's showing some, throwing some heavy hits. Maybe I'm taking some hits. Oh, heavy hits. Heavy hits to Jim Beam. Jim Beam taking a few shots to the head in this first round. And look at it, Kahlberg. Uh, sorry, Kahlberg. Kahlberg coming forward. Logan there in the blue against Jim Beam. Mark Proctor in the redhead gear. It's a bit even. They're both uh, t -t 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 at the moment throwing heavy shots against each other. Jim Beam weathered the storm. Coming forward now. Oh, oh big miss. miss there. <laughs> I saw that go into the crowd, did you? <laughs> Couple of shots landed towards Alberg. Mark is doing a good job. Both boys quite composed, quite steady. As we glide into the first round, just over halfway now. As they they both know how to box, and that's what we want like to see. Holding that glove out, then firing a the right. Now one Mark. two of his own. This is quite an even fight. Mark was at the beginning were a little bit in trouble, but now. It seems a bit even. A little bit of holding there. Maybe consoling his hands. It's okay. It's okay. Both boxers are tied already at the end of this first round, but they are boxing. Big shots from both boys, and what a interesting and even first round that was, Benji. You know, I, I, I can't tell who's winning that fight. They're both landing, they're both throwing, they're both hitting. This is what you want to see. 
No one hurt. Everyone throwing ba- up with bad intention. Well, not bad intention, but boxing. Well, like you said, Benji, both these boys know how to box, and it makes the fight a little bit more, I wouldn't say slow paced, but more composed. You know, they're thinking about their shots. They're not throwing wild punches and bunches. And they're trying to find their range. So it's going to be interesting how round two plays out. Yes, exactly. I like that trainer. He's always so enthusiastic. Yeah, he likes to uh, definitely go for that body shot. Oh, he's showing, saying left, then right hook. Are we going to see that play out in the second round? Left jab, right hook. Let's see if Jim Beam goes in for the shot. Logan Olberg there in the blue. Mark Proctor, a.k.a. Jim Beam there in the red. Oh, shots against each other. Olberg on top at the moment. Marks against the... Oh, that was a little bit low. Little low. But Jim Beam just shook it off. Is Jim Beam going to throw the left, then right hook? Let's see if he took on what was told to him in between rounds. Obviously, that bull guard was working quite well. Oh, well, uppercut. Olberg was pinning Mark against the ropes, and Mark just did an uppercut. Big right hook there And he did Olberg. it again. It's something that Olberg needs to work on. Don't put your head down. You're going to receive something quite nasty. Nice body shot there from Jim Beam. And again, Olberg was like putting his guard in, but putting his face down. Obviously in a dangerous position. But now Olberg is Olberg just back. coming in furiously. Getting out of the way there of Jim Beam now. Almost at a stalemate. Not carefully thinking what to do next. Still a good fight to watch because as you said earlier, Benji, both these guys had a box. The boxing purists can appreciate this and what's going on, but the crowd getting behind both these fighters now is Jim Beam throwing those body shots. Mark is being chanted right now. I don't know what Mark is doing. Everyone looks a little bit confused. And now they're back onto it. Just under 10 to go. Jim Beam. Mark. Oh. Is Logan is throwing is punches and bunches. Logan's in trouble. His head is down. Body shot headlock from Jim Beam. Logan not looking in good shape at all. Near the end of that round. It's something that Logan keeps on doing. He can't put his head down with his ha- head in his, his hands. He's going to get caught, especially with that upcut. And he has actually landed twice so far. But he, he keeps on doing the same thing. Hey, it could be a little bit of a tanglement. could be a little bit of a uh, tie. And the trainer there going hard in the corner. Again. I think he wants to have a boxing fight. Look at that. Jab, hook, left. Maybe Jab, hook, left, body rip. Maybe we should get that trainer to go against uh, the other trainer. So Bruce Glossier versus that trainer. And his name is Trainer. <laughs> hey, but seeing Bruce uh, throw and box, he's, he's not a pushover, so it could be a very, very good matchup, that one. I don't know what's happening there. He's grabbing onto his shorts. It would just be a case of... Uh, breathing, breathing exercises. And look, it's good to see too the headgear in this fight. Well fitted, well suited. Not restricting the vision of both fighters. Carlos is coming out, so is Mark. Logan getting out of harm's way of those jabs. Coming forward now. The crowd on their feet. They're going wild in here, Benji. Oh yeah, they certainly are. These are uh, both both boxers have a massive fan club. Maybe this should have been the main event. Oh, what a big shot. Big uppercut again from Logan. Has some body shots. But the coin oh! Mark. Mark is still there, though. Taking a massive shot on the chin. Jim Bing was pushing down Logan just before, just to tire him out. One minute down, one minute to go. And the crowd's going wild. You know, I almost see the same people saying, 
Logan, when they're saying Mark as well. Nice there's up there from Logan. They're rooting for both boxers. Such a well even contested boxing match at this stage. I didn't notice one thing is that when the referee split them apart because he didn't actually bring them back into the middle. It becomes an uneven playing field. Big shots here from Jim Bain. Oh no, Logan's in trouble. He's got a oh. standing eight count. And see, this is probably what was the result of not actually when breaking the boxes apart, not bringing them in the middle, so it becomes an even playing field. If you're going to like, push them aside, bring them in the middle. Whoa, oh, big hook there from Logan. But Jim Beam, Mark Proctor, finishing strong in this third and final. And it's all over. What a round. We let this go. The judges' decision, the trainer's happy. The one that loves to throw in the corner. What a, what a fight, Benji. That was absolutely amazing to watch. Yeah, I'm saying lose my voice. <laughs> They're chanting Logan at the moment in the crowd. But to be honest, I think it probably leaned more towards Mark for the judges. Did I just call it? Yes, I just did. Crowd is exhausted. I'm, I'm exhausted from just watching that. What a fight that was! Here we go for the official decision. A majority draw. Wow! See. Oh, and the crowd does not like that. Well, both fighters winners on the night and. You know, there was a huge crowd following for both fighters. I think Mark actually won that fight. I don't know what the judge was seeing, but hey. Well, that's your personal preference there, Benji. It's uh, a little, oh, and the, the trainer gets a bit of spray of water there. <laughs> after all this combo starting between rounds. Very, very close match. Uh, I, I possibly would have edged it uh, another way as well. However, the judges thought they went that way, and that decision is final.